So hi there, my name is Manuela. I'm 720S Aspire project manager. So I work for McLaren Automotive and I've been responsible to deliver this product to the market. So at McLaren, we'd like to describe this as the most complete convertible supercar that we have ever designed and deliver. What makes it special, for sure, the retractable R-top system, which is at the pinnacle of, of the industry, is class leading for a number of features and characteristics, is very, very silent during its operation. It's incredibly fast and features a single panel uh, which can be specced either in solid carbon fiber material but also in glass with a really cool looking electrochromic glass panel that can switch from tint to um, transparent in a matter of few seconds uh, enabling you to enjoy a lot of light getting in through the cabin as well as protecting the cabin from excessive you know heat or um of or light at mclaren we we focus a lot on you know lightweight as a key enabler for extraordinary performances we put a lot on effort uh, in making sure that this car could maintain all the class leading performances that coupe uh, brought to the market a standing 2.9 second in the north to 62 miles per hour and and so and so on so, and a key a fundamental enabler for making that happen has been uh, delivering this convertible car with a weight increment of just 49 kilograms of a coupe. Uh, that has been possible because this car is fundamentally built um, from the same carbon fiber monocage, which we call monocage 2S, which has been further enhanced uh, by integrating the rollover protection system that also um, supports the roof itself, as well as the, the seatbelt system. I suppose I should talk about visibility. Coupe surely set a very unprecedented condition uh, to the market when it comes to a supercar. It has been praised a lot for what is what we call 360 degrees visibility and that has been a key feature that we were very very keen to maintain and probably to announce with Spider. So how do, did we do that? We looked at optimizing the roof package to enable us to lower the rear deck as much as possible and in fact the rear deck is lower by 25 millimeter compared to the previous model 650. That gives to the occupant and the driver an additional seven and a half meter of visibility rearward. In addition to that, we also wanted to improve the three quarter rearward visibility, which becomes particularly practical in approaching roundabouts or when you have to revert. And the key enabler for that are these amazing flying glazed buttresses, which we are particularly proud of. They are a, a very cool feature. They support uh, visibility as well or as well as aerodynamics performances as cooling performances so they are a perfect example of what what we call form for function visibility has also be, been maintained at the front we didn't have to um, introduce any uh, strengthening or stiffness stiffening into the windscreen surround so we have been able to maintain the very slim a a pillar uh, which are a sig signature or 720 coupe. So from a powertrain perspective, we have uh, maintained the same platform as 720 coupe. So this car features the same 4 litre V8 engine, 720 PS. That enables the car, together with the lightweight uh, content of the car itself, to maintain 0 to 100 to in 2.9 seconds. 0 to 200 is fundamentally the same value as of coupe with a small detriment of 0 0.1 of a second. So we go from 7.8 to 7.9. Top speed is fundamentally the same, 212 mile per hour. And with the move down, the detriment is really, really minimal. In terms of 
uh, the powertrain as a system. The car features a seven speed dual clutch transmission, which can be operated in manual, but also in auto. That can be selected by the driver using the uh, one of the controls, they are uh, located in, in, the cent in the central console of the car. One is for handling, the other one is for powertrain. As, as soon as you activate that panel, the car will switch to manual, enabling you to, have, you know, to, to be in full, in full control. Gradually transition from a more comfort driving condition to a, a more kind of engaging, which we call sport, to the, to the one that um, in enhances the, the performance to the ultimate level, which is called the track. But don't, don't, don't get confused. I mean, it's, the car remains always easy to drive, but uh, very, very engaging. The, the, the sound enhances as, as, as you change over uh, to track. Uh, the engine sound is, is um, becomes a little bit louder, it's more rewarding and, and the handling, the setting of the suspension becomes gradually uh, stiffer to enable a more direct response uh, from, from the steering and to um, ease a more um, performance oriented driving style which uh, is particularly relevant if, uh, if you drive on a truck but can provide a very thrilling and driving experience on roads on public roads as well. So with, with all these features just described, um, 720S Aspire represents the core offering within the McLaren product range, which we call Super Series. It is the perfect combination of road and, and track experience. It is in terms of price positioning, it sits above our Sport Series represented by 570S and it sits below our limited edition offering, which is what we call Ultimate Series. For me, is is everything. Uh, today, we're going to carry on driving uh, down these beautiful Arizona roads for this press first press drive for the 720s. Subscriber.